Alrighty guys, first things first, getting into a look, we're going to prime our eyelids. And I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Cream Puff. And just applying a little bit of that all over my lids and inner corners. Just to neutralize the eyes and make sure there's no veins or redness poking through. Just to allow the eyeshadows to really pop and stand out. Then I'm going to go in with my Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics Dusty Coral Palette. I'm going to take this kind of like neutral brown tone or warm brown actually. And on a fluffy crease brush I'm placing that through the outer corner and crease area. This is going to act as our transition shade for today. I'm only using a little bit of this because it is a transition color. It doesn't need to be too crazy pigmented. Next, I'm going to take these two browns from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm placing that through the outer corner just below the previous brown tone um, just to deepen up the eye socket a little bit more. These two shades are Puta and Butter, I believe, from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then we're going in with Mocha afterwards which again is a darker brown tone and on a petite crease brush i'm taking that through the outer corner and outer crease area as well basically what we're doing is just deepening up the brown so that we create a nice soft gradient effect to create that beautiful soft smoky look and then i'm going to go back in with the previous brown tones just to soften any harsh lines and edges i'm going to take central perk and soda from the Jaclyn Hill palette again on a pencil brush this time and I'm going to start creating like a smoky liner effect along the lash line so I'm first of all taking that br those browns along tightly against my outer lash line area and then circling it back through the outer crease to deepen up the outer corner a little bit more and create that outer V look I'm just mimicking that cat eye effect then I'm going to go in with the petite crease brush and some of mocha I'm going to smoke out those two deep brown tones just so it's nice and smoky and there's no harsh lines. You guys know the drill. <laughs> and of course I go back in with all those previous brown tones to just kind of create that soft smoky look so there's again no harsh lines. Next I'm going to take, I think it's Abyss from the Jaclyn Hill palette, like that black brown kind of colour. And I'm going in on a pencil brush again and basically just doing the same thing that we did with Central Park and Soda, just basically smoking out that lash line area. It is optional if you want to use this really dark kind of black brown color. You guys don't have to if you don't want to. I know black is a bit scary for some of you, so you can just keep it with the browns if you want it to be a little bit softer. I just wanted a really dramatic look, so I went in with black as well. Then I'm going to go in with Cloudy from the Dusty Coral Palette from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. And I'm placing that all over the first two thirds of my lid. It's a gorgeous kind of champagne color. It's actually stunning. I use it all the time now. It's so pretty. And I'm kind of cutting the crease per se without actually like creating a cut crease look. Then I go back in with the previous brown tones like Soda, Central Park and Abyss. And I just basically smoke out the outer corner a bit more. Just blend it all together so Cloudy kind of blends into the browns. Next, I'm taking this liquid eyeshadow from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics in Donna, I believe. And I'm actually like doing a glitter cut crease. So this is such a stunning, stunning liquid eyeshadow. It's like a diamond silver tone. I'm going in and just basically doing a little tiny little thin line along where the cut crease is. I'm bringing it about two thirds of the way across. Then I'm going to start drawing out the butterfly. So I'm using a white eye coal to begin with um, to kind of map out the shape of the butterfly wings. Like just get a bit of an idea of the size and like shape and everything like that. Just so I have a bit of like a guide. So when I go in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on a lip brush, I have a bit of like a, yeah, like a guide to trace over with. So it's not just freehanding it. You guys can freehand this if you would like. I just prefer to go in with a guide. I find it just is a lot easier and I make less mistakes. I'm basically just tracing over the white eye coal that we went with before and just doing like kind of little lines in the butterfly wings that I'll go over next with the diamantes and glitter and things like that. So I'm going to take some black diamantes and some silver ones. And I'm actually going in 
individually and placing the black ones down closest to where the black eye where the brown eyeshadow is because i wanted the i kind of wanted the effect like the diamantes were fading out so it went from the dark black and like faded out into the silver diamantes if that makes sense instead of just being a white diamante butterfly have that kind of gradient effect i'm going in with donna again that liquid eyeshadow just to map out those little inner lines of the butterfly wings i also take this like nail art glitter um this like holographic glitter and i place that inside the wings just for something different like instead of having diamantes everywhere i wanted like little different bits of like glitter and sparkle and things like that i also actually went over some of the silver diamantes with some of a liquid eyeshadow um, from Hannah's Beauty Box Cosmetics. I'll leave the name down below, but that's where those, like, that kind of browny, um, coppery tone on those diamantes comes from. It's from the liquid eyeshadow. I just kind of painted over the top so there was a bit more of, like, a gradient instead of just black to silver. It goes black to that kind of browny copper to silver, like the eyeshadow that we've got on our lids. Next, I'm going to line my waterline with a nude eye coal, and then I'm going back in with those brown eyeshadows that we used before on, an, on our eyelids. So I'm going in with the darkest brown first, and basically wiggling that closely to the bottom outer corner lash line area. Then I'm going to go in with mocha and soften the edges of the dark browns with that. Then I take those soft brown tones and I just smoke out the edges so it's all soft and smoky. And there's no harsh lines. Then I'm taking this... I think it's Enchanted or Enlightened, sorry, from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm placing that on my inner corner and brow bone. And finally going in with some bottom lash mascara to finish off the look. And this here is the completed eye look today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any requests for future upcoming looks, please let me know. Otherwise, have an amazing day. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, MUA underscore Meg Dixon. Uh, I post a lot of different looks on that Instagram page if you guys are interested in keeping up with other looks that I create that I don't post here. I love you all so much, and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.